Good evening. Okay, thank you for telling me. Okay, we are going to start with the session number four. Uh, this is the last session of this week, so we are going to complete the week number one. Uh, we are going to like do this session kind of relax, kind of. It's low kind of, I don't know, like this, um, because I am not feeling very well, but we are going to try to uh, see all the topics that we have for this session. So we are going to do it kind of relaxing, kind of easy, kind of uh, slow because of that. Um. We are going to complete the activities that we have on the platform. Uh, we are going to see what are the, the exercises or the things that we have on the platform that we need to complete. Um, in this case, we have four um, knowledge checks. So we are going to complete the four knowledge checks that we have on the platform. And also, we are going to like complete the information that we were learning yesterday. Remember that yesterday we were talking about the simple past. We were talking about this tense. So we are going to complete that information because we were talking about um positive, negative, and questions using the past form. And... We are going to complete the activities also. So we are going to be done with all the activities that we have on the platform for the section one and two. So we are going to be um, complete with the activities that it is supposed to, um, to be done in this uh, first week. So we are going to have this section one and two done. And then we are going to work on the section number three for the next week. Um, we have an activity that we are going to do that is the short story or the uh, the ideas that we create with the words that we had yesterday. I know that we are like, we are not complete in this case. We are not like uh, the whole Canva, but we are going to begin with the knowledge check. And why I am beginning with the knowledge check? Because um, we are going to wait for the others to come to the meeting and we are going to have this activity maybe in the middle of the, of the meeting. So we are going to have that activity in a couple of minutes. We are not going to do it at the beginning of the session because we are going to have a, a time to think about this story or time to think about the details that we have on this exercise. And also I'm going to begin with my part. So don't worry about that. And we are going to begin with the knowledge check. That is the first thing that we are going to do. So in this case, we are going to uh, solve the knowledge check 2.4. Again, this is, or this uh, is for the people that is not, uh, complete with the activities on the platform. Uh, we are going to do this uh, review or this um, exercise for the people that is not like uh, complete with these activities. For the others that are complete with the knowledge check, perfect. You are doing a great job. But we are just going to do it like a review. So we have the knowledge check 2.4. 
And it says, complete these conversations, questions and answers must be in simple past. So in this case, we are going to find what are the words that we need to, to use to complete these questions. And obviously we are using the simple past. So we are going to have two minutes to read the question and the options, and then you are going to tell me what is the best option of the answers to complete the question. And then we are going to see the others because in this exercise we have 10 different parts. So we are going to begin with number one and number two. Then we are going to work with number three and number four and so on. So two minutes to read these ones and we are going to answer these questions. So let's begin. Okay, for the number one, we have three different options. Did stayed, stayed, and did stay. What is the best option for the question number one? Did stay. Okay, did stay like this. Then number two, no, I, my friend, we to a cafe for lunch. Didn't call and draw. Didn't call, drove, didn't call and drive. Didn't call and drove. Didn't call and drove. Okay. We have number three and number four. The same thing. Just to look at the questions and the options, and then we are going to give the um the answers. So a couple of minutes, just one or two. And then we are going to continue with the other because we have 10. So take it easy in this moment. Paul and Joel didn't like the noise. Okay, in number three, you said? Did spend. How did spend? Spend. Did spend. Like this, number three? Um. Okay, number four? Number one, two, or three? 
Number two. Number two. Had and Joy didn't like the noise. Okay. We have number five and number six. When you are ready, you can tell me the answers. So in number five, what is the answer? Number one, two, or three? One. One. Okay, number one, did and do. Number six, one, three. two, or three? Three. Okay, number three, went and loved. We have number seven and number eight. When you are ready, you can tell me the answer. No traeme el agua, por favor, mi amor. No traeme el agua, sí, me voy a poner aquí. In number seven, what is the best option? Did, did you do? Did, did do. and do. Okay. Do. Number eight. One, two, one. or three? One. One. Did, went, and spent. Okay. Um, and three? Number and three. Number eight. I, I think... Okay, the case in number three is the last word is ah. is not correct. The, the way in Extended. which it's written. Okay. Then we have the last two, number nine and number ten. The nine is two. Okay. And ten is one. Okay. In number nine, you said is number two, option number two, did and sing. And in number 10 is the first one, didn't. So we are going to check if the answers are correct. And of course, they are correct. So we're just going to have like the review of the answers. In number one is did stay. Number two, didn't call and draw. Number three, did and spend. Number four, had enjoyed, didn't like the noise. Number five, did and do. Number six, went and love. Number seven, did and do. Number eight, did, went and spend. Number nine, did sing. And the last one, didn't because there is a negative a statement or in this case it is a negative answer so that's why we're using the auxiliary didn't in this case did plus not okay in this case we have completed the knowledge check 2.4 now we are going to 
go to the other knowledge check because we have four. So we are going to complete the four of the knowledge check that we have in this uh, section. So in this one, it's called, what did you do last night? Que hiciste anoche? And we are going to listen a, a audio program in which we are going to listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. And then we are going to check the correct information about each person. Vamos a escuchar lo que hizo John y Laura la noche anterior y vamos a ver cuáles son las opciones correctas para cada una de estas personas. So we are going to listen the audio and I think it's not going to work here. So I need to move this one like this. Okay, we are going to listen to the audio and then we are going to answer the exercise. So pay attention. Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then, we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. So we're going to listen twice, so I'm going to play again, and then we're going to answer the exercise. Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So what did you do last night, John? Uh. I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, now we have some information about the things that they did the last night. So we are going to the exercise and we are going to provide the answers. So. Who had a boring time, Laura, John, or both? John. John, okay. Who had a good time, Laura, John, or both? Laura. Okay. Okay, very good. Next one. Who met an old friend, Laura, John, or both? Laura. Okay. And the last one, who got home late? Laura, John, or both? Both. Okay, both. And let's see, very good. Muy bien, aquí básicamente estuvimos escuchando, ¿verdad? Cómo la pasaron ellos eh, en las reuniones que tuvieron. Pues a John no le fue muy bien porque no le gusta hablar mucho sobre fútbol. No es una persona mucha de deportes. But Laura had a really good night. So in this case, John has a boring night. Laura has a very funny, very relaxing, very good night. And they both got late to the house. Llegaron tarde a casa, pero la pasaron de diferente manera. Ella se divirtió, él no. So, 
And in this case, we are going to see the following video. In this one, we have a conversation that is um, the use of the verb to be, but in past. We know that we have different verbs in English that we need to change. We need to um, use them in a specific way to say an uh, idea of something that we have done in the past or the things that we are going to do in the future. But in this case, we are going to talk about the verb to be, but in past. How can we use this verb when we are talking about past actions and how to apply the knowledge that we have about the uh, use of the verb to be in these kind of tenses. So we are going to listen this conversation that is called, how was your vacation? ¿Qué tal o cómo fueron tus vacaciones? And we are going to um, know how to talk about the vacations or the activities that we did in a specific time. But in this case, it's not related to job, it's related to our maybe familiar time eh, or when we are like traveling with eh, some friends or something like that. So we are going to listen to this conversation, but also we are going to pay attention to the sentences and the structures that they are using to express the ideas or the actions that they perform in the past. So let's pay attention to the information and to the conversation. Participants will have a chance to listen to a conversation with past of be if used. Hi to all, welcome to this session. We'll continue talking about simple past, but now I want you to find out the simple past of be. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Don't miss next class where I'll explain the past of be. Let's listen. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. How long were you there? Okay, here we have the conversation. And we have Celia and Don, and they are talking about the vacations. And the different things that they uh, did in that time. And how was the vacation, um, like in a general way. So we have Celia that is talking with Don. And she asked, how was your vacation? At the beginning of the conversation, we listen that the person that is presenting the video and the conversation is saying that we need to find the different um, verbs to be in a uh, past. In this case, we are going to begin with this one. So here we have the use of the verb to be in past, we have the first one that is how was. So in this case, we know that the verb to be in past is was and were, depending on the person in which we are using this structure. So we have the question, how was your vacation? ¿Cómo estuvieron tus vacaciones? It was excellent. Seguimos con la estructura. Fueron excelente. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Ahí, seguimos con el pasado. I went to, fui, fui a Hawaii. Y luego dice, we had a great time. Tuvimos un tiempo increíble, un muy buen tiempo, un buen momento. Look at you. How long were you there? How long were you there? ¿Qué ¿Cuánto tiempo se quedaron ahí? Ahí estamos utilizando el where. Ya no es el was, sino where. About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Was the weather okay? 
El clima estuvo bien. Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. No realmente. Estuvo nublado. La mayoría del tiempo. Pero fuimos a surfear todos los días. Las olas estuvieron increíbles. So, what was the best thing about the trip? ¿Qué fue lo más, la cosa más buena o lo más bueno que sucedió en el viaje? What was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Algo increíble pasó. No lo vas a creer. So, in this case, we are like using uh, structures to um, explain the different activities. And in this case, we have like a list of activities in the middle of the conversation. And as I said before, this kind of um, ideas, these kind of examples are going to help us to construct um, conversations and to have different ideas when we are talking with different people. And in this case, uh, we are talking about um, vacations and In the first topics, we were talking about sports. We were talking about maybe a uh, different activities that we do during the day. So we need to, to pay attention to this kind of conversations because we are going to learn how to apply this information that we are learning into this kind of um, fluent uh, speaking process. Todas estas conversaciones nos pueden parecer un poco aburridas y decimos por qué, pero nos va a servir como ejemplo para construir nuestras propias conversaciones en el futuro. Yo sé que puede sonar un poco uh, distante sometimes to create this kind of conversation, but they are not. So if you are paying attention to the structure, you are, you are paying the attention to a uh, the grammatical part, you are uh, paying attention to the structure of the sentences, you are going to create these kind of conversations. So this one is an example that you can apply in your daily life when you are talking about your vacations or the things that you do in a specific time in your life. Now, we have the last video that is the past of B. And in this one, they are explaining a... What is the past of B and how can we apply this information in a statement? So we are just uh, going to pay attention to this one and then we are going to have the exercise. Vamos a tener el ejercicio después de este video. Y luego terminamos con el otro eh, knowledge check que tenemos que ya es el final de, este, de esta sección. So let's pay attention to the information. In this session, participants will study the past of B. Questions and short answers will be taught. Hello, nice to have you back. I'll make reference of the past of the verb B. Let's start. Past of B. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. The past of be, am, um, and is, was, are, were. To ask questions using the past of be, we do it this way. Was, were, plus subject, plus complement, plus question mark. Were you my student? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was she sad? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were they late? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Remember, we used be to express feelings, conditions, estates, and descriptions, either in present or past. Now you try answering the following questions. Were you my student before? Were you happy yesterday? Were you late this morning?
Okay, in this case, this video is just to remember the use of the verb to be in the past. So you already know that when we are using the verbs in past, we need to change the form. So in this case, the verb to be is an irregular verb because they change uh, their form. It is not like with the regular verb that in that case, you are just going to add the um, ed at the end of the verb. In this case, you need to change the form to complete the structure for the past. So in this case, you know in which cases you are going to use was and in which cases you are going to use where. And of course, we already know how to create questions using this information. And it is the same with every structure that we can think about when we are creating uh, questions, because um, like the principal idea of the questions is to change a little bit the structure of the sentence to create the question. And in this case, the uh, verb to be in past, the was and where, it's going to be at the beginning of the sentence and then you are going to complete with the other information and you are going to have your question. Siempre que vamos a hacer preguntas, tenemos que seguir casi la misma estructura. En el caso de las WA questions, es el único que se sale de, de, ese, de esa ramificación. Pero con el verbo to be, con los auxiliares, eh, siempre es lo mismo. Tenemos nuestra oración y para hacer la pregunta, lo único que vamos a hacer es intercambiar lugares. En este caso, el was y el where va al principio de eh, la oración. Luego va nuestro pronombre y ya sabemos nosotros que sigue después. Y creamos nuestra pregunta. But in this case, we are going to do two different things. We are going to do the first one in which you are going to um, give me two different sentences. You are going to create one sentence with was and one sentence with where. Vamos a crear una oración con was y una oración con where. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes and you are going to write the sentences on the chat. If you can do it at the same time, so in this case, one message per person is going to be great because we are going to have the two different statements. Vamos a tratar de poner las dos oraciones en el mismo mensaje para irlos agarrando los dos ¿verdad? al mismo tiempo. Y vamos a hacer una con was, una con where. Y yo les voy a ir escribiendo en el documento para que veamos la diferencia, ¿verdad? Entre las oraciones que vamos a ir creando. Um, think about the past vacations. Piensen sobre las vacaciones que tuvieron. Ya sea hace un año, hace dos años, hace cinco años. Uh, the time is not like um, specific. You can choose whatever you want. And you are going to think about the things that you did in that vacations. So you are going to uh, write just two sentences. Then when you send the messages, I'm going to write the statements on the uh, document. And then we are going to have the space for the previous exercise. Así que vamos a escribir las oraciones y luego vamos a pasar al ejercicio oral. So let's begin writing the sentences with was and where and we are going to have five minutes to complete this exercise
Okay, it's time to write the statements. I have two different statements right now. So we are going to wait. I mean, I'm going to wait for other statements and we are going to begin writing the sentences. I was at the beach for two days. Okay. I was on the beach for two days. Good. Where was my pencil? Okay, where was my pencil? And I'm going to write the two that I have here. And it's how, a, mm -hmm. oh, excuse me. No, um, tell me, tell me. How was the water? Okay. And I, you went to the beach? You went to the beach. Mm. In this case, uh, we are using uh, was and where, so I'm going to change it. Okay, I you have. were in the park with my, with my family. I. I you say I. Uh no, we were. Ah, in the we park were. My family. Okay. Yes. We were. We were. At the park. <laughs> with my family. I mean. Uh -huh. what? Park with my family. Good. I have this one, but I'm going to change something. I was in your office yesterday. Okay, in this case, when we are using this kind of uh, sentences, we are going to use the ing form. I was watching. So in this case, we can say I was watch. So we are going to add something in this uh, statement. I was watching TV. We were born. Were you sick yesterday? My sister was
Okay, we have uh, some uh, statements here that are um, in which we are using the uh, verb to be in past. I was on the beach for two days. Where was my pencil? How was the weather? You were on the beach yesterday. We were at the park with my family. My family and I went to the Bicentenario Park and we were playing football. I was in your office yesterday. I was watching TV. We were born. Where did you sick yesterday? My sister was in Guatemala with my family last year on vacation. We were at the airport last week because we were going to travel to Italy. I was a good teacher and they were here yesterday. Okay, they are um, excellent statements. So thank you for your participation. You did a great job with your sentences. Now, it's time for the other activity. So remember that you have a, a specific verb that you are going to construct or you are going to transform this uh, present verb into a past one. And we are going to create like a short story with this uh, word. So in this case, um, I'm going to begin with my short story. And I had the verb work. Yo tengo el verbo trabajar, que es el que íbamos a utilizar para esta pequeña actividad. So, I can say, um, the last week, I felt that my work is kind of hard because I worked a lot and I was very, very tired. But I know that is part of my daily routine because I have a lot of things to do. But the last week, um, it feels like very, very stressful because I work it from 7 a.m. to maybe 10 or 11 p.m. And I was very exhausted at the end of the day. And that's it. It is just talking about the job at the work and something like that. So I'm going to begin with, vamos a ver quién va a ser el afortunado o afortunada para decir su pequeño eh, historia. Mm, let's see, I have, vamos a ver las letras que se repiten. Mm, I have two, I have another two, So I have four names in this case to begin with the same word and I mean the same letter and the other two begin with the same letter. Hmm. We are going to begin with Idalia. Um, my name is Idalia. I am math teacher, and this is my story. From very young age, I show an interest in mathematics. In the past, mathematics show that are a challenge for me. My teacher of the school showed to me a very good example. I show a talent in the mathematics. I love math. Thank oh, you. good. Excellent job. Muy bien. So, Idalia, can you tell me another name? Me puede ayudar con otro nombre para ver quién es la siguiente persona en decir su pequeña historia. Cindy. Okay. Cindy is Cindy. your... Yes. Cindy, it's your time. Okay. Um, at the age of 15, I was in the state that every teenager goes through falling in love. At that time, I lacked a boy. Every time I saw him go by, I blushed and smiled at him. 
and that's how it was until he started talking to me. We greeted, greeted I don't know, <laughs> each other. Then uh, we went from reading uh, each other to having conversation at the school breaks. However, he had to move and change school. That when the only one to communicate it was by phone. He called me, I called him. These were daily. I wanted uh, anxiously for time to tell us how our day had gone stalk about anything. However, his time went by and he hardly called call it anymore. And Dainer did I. These were disgracing and we had two topics of conversation. Is common and there we feel times to be spoke again. However, that called me my days of Joe Happy. Until today is a pleasant memory. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Give me another name, please. Okay. Um, Marjorie. Okay, thank you, Marjorie. My very is felt, and I felt afraid on my first day of, uh, of school English uh, because I feared that they won't laugh at me. Uh, when I made a mistake, little be little I stopped it, feeling that fear I started to feel nervous, nervous, and but at uh, um, the same um, at the same time, the fear was less, and the nervous were a little bit little bone taken off. Okay, thank you. Excellent job. So, Marjorie, can you tell me another name? Um. Stephanie. Okay, Stephanie, are you ready? Okay, my name is Stephanie. My nephew and I made a chocolate cake and we also make cookies and we dirty the kitchen when we finish with cleaning and birthday. Okay, very good, excellent. Stephanie, give me another name. Pablo. Pablo, okay. Pablo, are you ready? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Eh, voy camino al trabajo, pero sonando la cámara. <laughs> ah, don't, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Bueno. For a vacation in August, my family and I, went to the bicentenary park. There we were playing football when suddenly it started to rain. I went to bring the car to the parking lot. After that, we went to eat pizza in the, in the mall Metropolis Plaza. Then we were to visit my uncle, but my parents were tired and they, want to what home and for the dinner we spend buying uh, comprar yes buying okay who put that oh good and that's in my stuff oh very good excellent job okay thank you okay thanks to you so pablo give me another name okay patricia Okay, thank you. Patricia. Hello, good evening. Hello, um, good evening. Okay, let me start. 
um, the first is begin. Um, my short history is my day begin begin at four thirty in the morning, which is my usually wake up time. I begin my taking a shower and then preparing breakfast. Um, then I go to work and my day begin at seven a.m. and ends at forty p.m. I come home and start preparing dinner, and then I am ready to begin my English classes. Um, then I'm dream for a while and I'm ready to go to sleep. And um, tomorrow, I'm begin a other date. That's it all, teacher. Okay, thank you. Excellent job. So, Patricia. You can give me the last name. So in this case, we're just going to have one more participation because of the time. So give me another name. Oscar. Oscar, okay. Oscar, are you ready? Hello, teacher. I am Hello. ready. Okay. Tell me. Yesterday, I woke up and didn't know what to do because I was very rainy day and that is not let my go out um, until on the same day I found a movie that caught me attention. Okay, okay, thank you. Very good. Excellent. Okay, uh, we have this kind of exercise in which we can like think about um, the different activities that we did in a specific moment in uh, the day. So in this case, we have different activities that you performed um, maybe the last weekend or even we can think about uh, a specific weekend and you um, have this kind of experiences. And also we were like talking about the kind of um, stories from the past that are very, very interesting. And it is like also a practice for you uh, because you are like experiencing, uh, explaining or talking about uh, the past with other person. Así que estas actividades se utilizan, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes puedan construir una idea sobre el pasado. Uh, because you know that um, in English language and with the English acquisition of the language, um, we need to use this kind of structures. We know that the present time or the present tense is one of the most common tenses that we have in English. But one of the most used tenses in English is past. El eh, pasado es uno de los tiempos o es una de las estructuras más utilizadas en inglés. Why? Because we are explaining different things. We are um, talking about um, activities, actions. Uh, we are like explaining something. And that's why we use a lot the past. Yes, we can talk about the actions that we are performing at, the, at this moment. But maybe when you are talking with your kids, for example, um, you are asking them, how was your day? How was your day? In that case, you are using an structure. And that structure is specific for the past. How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo tu día? No le estamos diciendo en ese momento, ¿cómo está tu día? Sino que le preguntamos por todo lo que hicieron en el día. And the kids are going to say that, um, I went to the school and I talked with my friends and we played um different games uh, we learned uh, something very interesting uh, the teacher said that in different things so in that case in a simple conversation with our kids we are going to use the past and with our friends too um imagine that you have a very special um relationship with your friends, una relación muy buena, eh, eh, una relación pues bastante, eh, podemos decir, afectuosa o con mucho afecto, 
But you know that we as adults, um, we have like a very a difficult time meeting our friends because of the job, because of the children, because of different things. And when you have time to meet your friends, you are going to talk about the past things that you did, not the present things. Oh, what are you doing right now? ¿Qué estás haciendo en este momento? Because the answer is pretty easy to understand. Oh, I am eating with you. Estoy comiendo contigo. I am talking with you. But we need to know what are the different things that they did when we are not around that people. So that's why we use a lot this structure. So we need to pay attention to the past uh, or distance to practice our English skills and also to understand uh, what are the elements in which we need to pay attention a lot. Así que vamos a dejar la sesión hasta acá. We were talking about past and we just had one um, knowledge check left, but you have to work on that. And we are going to begin with the section number three uh, the next week. So we are going to end this session here and we are going to see each other on Monday. So have a really good weekend and see you the next week. See you. See you. See you. Good night. 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 Good night.